like if you go on YouTube and do anything besides uh, battery yourself or learning something new, you using it for the wrong thing, man. Tonight, Fortnite TV Fire. Fortnite, Fortnite, Call of Duty. Call of Duty, Call of Duty, PUBG. PUBG, PUBG, FIFA 21. PUBG, Burkina, Ferrari. Ferrari, Ferrari, PUBG. PUBG. Um, right, so I'm gonna do something that no one has ever done before. I'm gonna tell you guys to watch uh, other people's video. Specifically, uh, the following top 10 uh, After Effects tutorial videos. Yeah, and a lot of people ask me to suggest, uh, you know, to maybe compile a list of uh, all the After Effects uh, tutorials that I find helpful for beginners. So this is my answer to you guys. And also, obviously, I can only give praise to all the videos that I've watched. So uh, these videos are a little bit old, but I think older videos are somehow much better than newer ones anyway. Uh, nevertheless, here are 10 essential After Effects tutorial uh, for beginner in brackets. Number 10. Any introduction to After Effects video ever. Um, there are a bazillion of these things online and you can pretty much pick any single one of them and they'll walk you through the basic functions of how After Effects work. I have one too that is two hours long, link in the description, blah blah blah. I've, I've included this one in just because I feel like I have to... I didn't actually watch any introduction to After Effects video when I started out. Uh, basically, I think these types of videos are a pretty easy way to squeeze some views out of someone who just started. And I myself would not recommend dwelling on the basics for too long. Yes, it's good to know what the keys do and where the shortcuts are, but if possible, it would be best to only spend one or two hours learning this stuff. Or even like 10 minutes and then get your hands dirty uh, with some nitty gritty stuff. And I think that's a better way to learn. Uh, something like Ben Marriott's Learn After Effects in 10 minutes I think is a good starting point. Number 9 is Basic Typography and Motion Graphics by the VFX Bro. Now for one of the reasons why people learn After Effects is to animate types. An extremely detailed crash course into designing and animating kinetic types in After Effects. Not only did he go in-depth into all the components that the uh, text layer in After Effects has to offer, but he also teaches you how to uh, sequence those text animation to better match an audio, which I think is really nice and really tells of the time which the video was made. Uh, number 8. Understanding Pre-Render by Creative Cow If you're working on a massive project, then you need to understand the idea behind pre-rendering. This video introduces you to both pre-comping and pre-rendering, an element that's otherwise too heavy for your machine to handle. Sometimes to improve preview time, you don't want to drop down the quality of the preview uh, because that would compromise a workflow. So pre-rendering is a good practice that's uh, definitely worth some time of your attention. I can select the layer, hit you, you. Number 7, Introduction to Masking by Surface Studio. It's important to know about masking not only to deal with real footage, but also incorporate it whenever possible in a motion project. Uh, you know, when you're trying to cut or include stuff in and out of view. Uh, Surface Studio has got a really in-depth video on how to use a mask effectively to hide stuff from view. Or maybe clone an object. Uh, he even went into animating the mask, which I didn't know could be done at first. You can tell that some of his jokes are kind of outdated, but you know, the further you go into the video, the more you feel that he genuinely cares about uh, carefully communicating his knowledge and to make sure you understand. So I can't help but, you know, respect his effort. Number 6 a slick object transition by Matt Mograves. Uh, now we're getting to the territory of improving your motion design thinking and mindset with uh, some tutorials that help you to strategize your tools and knowledge. 
This one is by Mark Mograf, who uh, besides this video has a massive array of tutorials catering to uh, special effects in uh, AE. Uh, this one specifically teaches you to quickly get used to using shape layers to achieve this uh, shape shifting 2D animation that was extremely popular back in the days. It really opened up my mind on how flexible uh, shape layers in AE can be and also train your eyes uh, to look for uh, the details of the design. Number 5 again with Mammograph uh, Snap Align Logo. This is a really fun workflow which helps you to understand how sometimes it's not always what you see on the screen that matters but is what behind the scene that is actually more impressive. It also gives you a taste of how one unassuming object could take the form of something else completely different. And it has one of my favorite lines in an After Effects tutorial. It doesn't really have to be perfect because it's hopefully going to move um, very quick so the user won't really notice it. And yeah, a uh, really good tutorial, go check it out. Texturing is really important in any animation and it could really take your video from a mediocre animation to, uh, to a mediocre animation with textures. Now you could easily just download or buy any textures uh, and slap it onto the top of your composition and change the blending mode. But I feel like the uh, superior way is to create them from scratch in After Effects. Number four is gonna be a tie between sketchy style animation by Mammograph and a better animated grain texture by Ben Marriott. Uh, both have instruction on how to replicate the more popular sort of textures in 2D animations and both have a formidable amount of knowledge. Weighing in at number 3, we have 2D Flat Shadows tutorial by none other than Vin Sun from Creative Dojo. Great to see a fellow Vietnamese on this list. Uh, flat 2D Shadows is one of the most sought after look and this tutorial has aged really well. I always find myself coming back to this one once in a while, get my mind freshened up on how to achieve a certain look using good old After Effects uh, homegrown effects. Yeah, big ups to Creative Dojo. Standing in at number two, we got Fake 3D Cylinder by Evan Abrams. One of the most versatile techniques in After Effects, uh, faking a 3D perspective gives it a distinctive look and also forces your mind to think dimensionally while in a 2D program. Um, Evan Abrams is also one of the best in the business and he really tried to take you step by step through the process of faking dimensionality using 2D shapes and animations. It also uh, really gets you into the mindset of, uh, you know, in opposed to number five. Uh, what's going on behind the scene is impressive, but sometimes uh, it's what's shown on screen that matters. And now for some honorable mentions. Uh, animating flourishes. Great short to the balls tutorial on how to make stuff appear out of thin air. Uh, one of the greatest techniques to dive deeper into and I found myself revisiting this video once in a while. Grid Experiment Tutorial, a force of nature of a tutorial, a brilliant example of how you can stack up ordinary effects uh, to make extraordinary animation. Also a great introduction into uh, After Effects cameras and depth of field. And finally we have number one. Hey what's up, Andrew Kramer here. Is none other than Advanced Spin FX Tutorial by Video Copilot. Um, this is the one that started it all. Uh, the first tutorial I've ever watched. Uh, you can just be fresh off the boat in After Effects and follow everything in this video and immediately be familiar with the program. Um, I began watching it as Walter White and I ended up a uh, Heisenberg. It's got stuff that you can do with mass, blur, and post processing your comp to make it look nice. It also features an effect that I keep forgetting exists and the end result looks really cool and for some reason even though it looks like it might be geared towards uh, more intermediate advanced users uh, it is extremely helpful for any adventurous beginners out there. So yeah congratulations to Advanced Spin Tutorial by Video Copilot. 
And now I'm gonna answer the one single question that literally every single week uh, no one has asked me. And that's uh, what you think is the best After Effects tutorial ever. And that's an easy one because I'll say the best tutorial is the one that I haven't been able to figure out yet even though the answer is right up on the screen in my face. And that's none other than Quick Parallax Rig by Zach. I'm not even gonna attempt to pronounce that. I've actually hit him up on Instagram to, to ask the man himself. And he said that is pronounced T-Gen. So yeah, Zach T-Gen, ladies and gentlemen. If your work involves a lot of 2.5D uh, perspective animation and you have to struggle with moving your layers back and forth in front of the camera, uh, then this tutorial significantly solves that with what I can only describe as magic. It's so exclusive that uh, you can only find it on Vimeo. And I swear, give it a watch and it will blow your mind away. Uh, that's it for me. Uh, see ya.